What's the deal? You talk? Hold on. Turn that shit down. I don't know that shit. Man. Blowing in the motherfucking mic. Anyway, man, what the fuck is the deal, YouTube, bro? I know y'all tired of hearing this fucking video, bro, but I be having to keep y'all updated, bro, because it's like, bro, I don't like giving y'all weak ass content. I ain't even about to do no damn intro. Talking about some, you feel me, like the video, subscribe shit, because it's a real ass video, you feel me? I'm, I'm just talking to y'all, you feel me? This is how I feel right now in this shit. Like, I don't want to give y'all no weak-ass content, bro. I don't like dropping weak-ass content. Unless it's something I like doing, you feel me? At that point, even if somebody don't like it, I'm going to still drop it. Because I like the video, you feel me? I fuck with shoot videos and funny videos, like pranks and shit. And, and vlogging with the fam type shit. Or vlogging what I'm doing. Shit like that. What else? I, there's different shit I like doing. I don't like following the trends on shit, though, either. Because it's like... Some shit don't be me. I'm not about to just you feel me, follow the trend and, and do a fucking video just for some views. I mean, that's that's cool because that's how I used to be young. You feel me? That's how you get your shit turned up. You feel me? So it's like every once in a while that shit cool. But it's like once you get the following waves too much, you will forget like what you was really on on your channel. Like I peeped that shit after a while. Like after you get the following wave too much, bro, you will forget your whole source, bro. And you're going to fall in a pot with niggas. What I mean by that is, like, you're not going to really stand out with that shit. You feel me? You're going to be just like everybody else. You don't want that. Because then motherfuckers not going to really want to watch you because they can see that shit anywhere, basically. You feel me? So what I don't watch you for if the next nigga doing that shit, too. All y'all just doing the same video over a whole bunch of times, basically. Basically, that's what YouTube want right now. And some people might feel like you gotta follow that trend and get views to a point i feel the same way because it's like i don't know they pick and choose what they want to pop but me i'm about to get back in my mouth with that shit. three four videos you feel me a week this is the first video back. I really want to like rebrand. I was talking about people about that shit, like just rebranding my shit. Not necessarily rebranded, but like it's a fresh start. Cause like I'm older, you feel me? I'm getting older. I'm still the youngest hell. I'm only 20. You feel me? About to be 21, but that's still young in my book. You, you gotta be at least like 25 to say you grown, grown out here. I mean, niggas grown, but like out here, out here, I say like 25. That's a good age to say you, you out here. You feel me? You on your way up there. On your way to the 30s, you feel me? Anyway, I'm getting on topic. Like I was saying. I'm about to get back in my mode with this shit. Start running this shit up. Because to be honest, bro, we've been stuck at 4K for the longest. I don't like, I don't know what's wrong with the channel, bro. Like, we don't get recommended. suggested none of that no more. At the same time, I don't blame you too, cause like, let's be real. My videos then versus now, you can tell it's a little bit more lazier. Like I'm just pushing shit out. If you pay attention, you feel me? If you if you a real subscriber and you was like there through like the build up, like in high school type shit, I had way more fun with that shit. I was I was really editing that shit, making sure that bitch, you feel me, entertaining. And now I feel like I lost that, you feel me, that entertainment part with that shit. So I'm really about to turn that shit back up. I got a lot of shit coming soon. I just, I dropped out with a long time ago. I ain't even show y'all that. I don't really like people knowing what car I drive in. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is I'm about to get in that mode with this shit, bro. I got to turn this shit up, bro. I feel like I can make a 100K by the end of this year. I feel like I can hit that 100K. It's June. I mean, not June. It's July 28th or 27th. So, yeah. I got six months to try to hit that 100K. I already wrote this shit in my book. Everything. I'm manifesting this shit. I believe I can do this shit, bro. I feel like I can, I can hit this 100K. So y'all gonna see the journey. I'm about to I'm about to really go crazy with this shit. I know people fuck with that 
Hey, refs, y'all be dropping. You feel me? I got some room for the day. Do I go say that whole world type shit? You feel me? Try to geek myself up, but I'm about to get my mode, my YouTube shit back, back to my core type shit. You feel me? I fuck with the rap shit too. I got hella shit I could drop. I got over like 200. I don't know what the 300 songs. So that's not an issue. It's a matter of dropping with that shit. But right now I'm focusing on something else because I was just focusing on the rap shit for so long. So now I got to get back in my mode with my YouTube shit. And it's all going to work out for each other in the end. Y'all see, you feel me? I ain't going to give out all my juice on this bitch because the <laughs> niggas will follow your blueprint. I ain't gonna give you my blueprint until I'm finished with it when I really ain't gonna never be finished with it. So I might give you a couple keys to it, but you ain't gonna have enough keys to it to even open the door. If you get what I'm saying. Anyway. Anyway. Thanks for motherfucking watching this video for all the motherfuckers that do. See you on a minute.